Hey everyone, so I have a video for you today that's kind of a requested, um, or it's like a, an amalgamation of a load of different requests that I constantly get. And it's the best um, black eyeliners. So this is just going to be me showing you all the different types of eyeliners that I find are the best in my experience from what I've used. And um, they are over a big different, like a diff a big price range. So there's very inexpensive ones here and a bit more expensive. But um, if you're more interested in say cold pencils m over gel liners, or maybe more interested in say glitter liners over just normal liquid eyeliners, um, everything will be indexed below. So you can just press on this timestamp and it'll bring you to whatever you're interested. So I'm going to jump in and start off with plain old pencils. So the best black cold pencils that I've used pretty much would be um, first of all would be my Smolder and my Feline by MAC. I absolutely adore these guys. This is closer to the full length of it. Um, these retail for I think it's about 18 euro I think in Ireland or thereabouts now. So they're just very 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 black soft eyeliners so smolder um, was always my favorite feline used to always be limited edition but um, it's permanent now and feline is just a slightly blacker version of um, smolder and it's called a coal power pencil whereas the smolder is just an eye coal um, I'm not 100% sure of the big difference but I know when you smudge out smolder it's more blue than the feline but they're amazing then if you want something um, similar, very similar actually, this is, works brilliantly, but a little less expensive, I love the Bourjois um, Coal Pencil, this is the black one. Now I originally got it, got it with the Sculpt and Contour, or yeah, Shadow and Light Sculpt and Contour. So this works just as well as the Feline or the Smolder. Um, I should have said Feline for some reason lasts better in my waterline than Smolder, but um, this is as black as Feline hands down just as good and it lasts just as well in my waterline but it's a little bit less expensive not hugely but it is a little bit less expensive you can also get the coal and contour the plain black coal by uh, bourgeois and this one is the exact same thing just a really really soft black coal pencil that works brilliantly in the waterline again it's a little bit less expensive again um and then if you're looking for waterproof black um, pencils so I have a few favorites um, first of all would be the Lord and Berry so I got this uh, from screen face in London this is smudge proof waterproof and all that and it's extremely black so this is brilliant for in the waterline because if you do have watery eyes this will um, last a little bit longer than say any of those other cold pencils really really fantastic I can't remember the price of this but um, it's 701 in the black is the name of that one by Lord and Berry then um, I only have a smidging of this left. I think it's called the Zero L. It's the Makeup Forever Aqua Liner. Again, this is waterproof and all that and really, really, really black. So this is brilliant for um, anyone who has greasier lids or who wants it to really last in their waterline. And then finally, I also have the Urban Decay Zero Pencil. This is another waterproof one which is brilliant for lasting. It's softer than some of the other waterproof ones. It doesn't go on my waterline as well as the Lord and Berry or the um, Makeup Forever one, but it's still a fantastic, fantastic option. So they are all the best um, black eye pencils that I have used personally and that I constantly use and are always on my kit. I'll go on to gel eyeliners next. So the one that I use probably the most maybe in my kit is the Black Track Fluid Line by MAC. This is just one that I find is brilliant. Sometimes it can be um, a little bit sheer. You might need to build it up a little bit more, but it's still a brilliant, brilliant pot. I think it's around 19 euros in Ireland, um, the retail value. And it's, um, it's, pretty, it's a pretty iconic one. I think everyone uses it. For some reason, some people seem to say that theirs dries out. I've never had this issue. I'm on my third, maybe, pot ever and um, I've never had an issue with them drying out so I absolutely adore that. So I'm going to go on to some of the less expensive ones. Uh, the e.l.f. one, this is from, I think it's from their studio line. This is another really really good one for the price. It's only a couple of, uh, couple of euro or a couple of pounds. The only thing is this does dry out a little bit and it can go a little bit too uh, dry when you're applying it. Um, I will deal with that in a second but for the price it's still a great product um, and there are ways of dealing with it when it gets dry 
Another really inexpensive one that I think is brilliant is the Catrice one. Again, this is only a couple of euros. This is um, number 10, Black Jack with Jack Black. <laughs> it's a lovely fluid gel eyeliner, brilliant again for the price. And Catrice is available um, in most places around Europe as far as I know. And it's just tar. It's their black eyeliner. And this is really handy because it comes with a little brush in the tip, which is actually pretty decent. It's very, very similar to the Bobbi Brown eyeliner brush. Um, but again, the actual formula of this is a pretty superior eyeliner formula. Um, it's not the biggest amount of product you get. It's only two grams. Um, but I don't think it was the most expensive thing in the world either. And it's just another really, really lovely product. So I'd highly recommend that one. Then another mid-range one would be the Maybelline one, and this is the Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner. Now this did as well come with a brush, if I can remember, but I don't have it anymore. But it's another fantastic, very, very black um, gel eyeliner, which is very available all over the world. So it's one that most people can get their hands on if they find the other ones hard to get hold of. And it's one that I use all the time. So I like the little... Um, package it comes in it actually reminds me of the Bobbi Brown one um, and then the Inglot one is one I have to mention it's one of my favorites by far the only downside I would say is that not as bad as the elf but similar to the elf it can get a little bit dry um, brilliant for use it's so opaque and it really lasts all day especially if you like to put it on in the waterline it's one that I couldn't recommend more than more and no, more I couldn't recommend more yeah but to deal with those ones that get a little bit dry, I'd say get yourself a mix in medium. Now these are available from a lot of places. This is the Inglot uh, Dura line. So what this does is it just kind of makes your gel line liners when they start to dry up a little bit, it makes them fluid again. But as long as you don't apply too much, it doesn't shear them out too much. Um, and the, generally a lot of them tend to make them water proof as well. Um, I'm not 100% about the Dura line, but this is a fantastic product so I would absolutely pick one of these up along with your um, gel eyeliner if you're around the Inglot um, shop. Now other brands do that as well. You can have the Eye Seal by Makeup Forever. This one does make it waterproof. Works the exact same way. You just need to activate um, your gel eyeliner with a teeny bit of it. And I mean just a teeny bit, just to make it so that it's a little bit fluid again. There's also the Liquid Set by Ben Nye. This works in the exact same way. Again, this is also um, water resistant. And you can look at something like, there's Mixing Mediums by MAC. Um, there is different ones, so make sure you get the one that's suitable for eye. Um, yeah, so definitely look at, into getting those if you are working with gel eyeliners. Now, one more, uh, which would be on the higher price range is, of course, the um, Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner. These are fantastic products. This is actually the blue one I have um, because I don't have the black one anymore but it's one that I used for a long time and I really really loved it and um, it never dried up on me. Absolutely superior um, eyeliner as well but it is on the higher um, end of the scale. Now one that is similar to those but it's not actually an eyeliner it is the MAC Pro acrylic paint in black black um, it's one of these multi-use products that can be used all over the body and this one is okay for use around the eye and it's just like a liquid eyeliner but it's a paint so you need to obviously dip your brush into it if it's for yourself or scoop a little bit out onto um, a tray or something or onto a palette and use your um, use your brush from the palette but this is it's just basically like a paint it's absolutely brilliant you need to shake it up um, or mix it up so that because it is a water-based acrylic type paint, um, it can separate a little bit. So you just need to give it a bit of a bit of a stir, but it works absolutely perfectly, and I love that. Um, two other products that I don't have here on me at the moment would be other MAC Pro products, something like the Chromaline and the Chroma Cakes. They are water activated as well, and the black ones are okay for use around the eye. So not all of these kind of products are okay for around the eye, depends on the color and what pigment it is, but you can still go ahead and use them if it says it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on to long-lasting eyeliners now. So two of my favourites would be, um, on the lower end of the price scale, is this one by Seventeen. It's a new one, and it's called Tattoo Me Semi-Permanent Liquid Eyeliner. It's an extremely black eyeliner, um, extremely long-lasting, and it comes with one of these little brush nibs. Um, 
and you just apply it like so and it takes a little while for it to dry maybe up to a minute depending on how thick you put on the um the coating but it generally doesn't take that long but once it's dry it does not move you need a really really strong eye makeup remover to take it off um an oil based one so it's absolutely fantastic i think it says it lasts up to 48 hours i don't know why anyone would want to wear their eyeliner for 48 hours but it really 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 lasts it doesn't like fade off or wear away or on your eye or anything like that and especially if you've got watery eyes i know um sometimes if my eyes water the if i have eyeliner on the inner top um lash line it can fade away throughout the day but it doesn't with this so that's brilliant and then another one that's similar again i don't have the black one on me but i have the um gray one and it's the exact same thing the black one is brilliant it's the mac super slick liquid eyeliner again this is going to be around the 20 maybe 4 mark and it works the exact same way as the number 17 one so you just pop it on and you let it dry for a minute and once it dry it does not move so the only thing about these ones is that um they are shiny they don't dry matte and um, that might be to everyone's taste but if i find that most of these really really long lasting ones uh, the ones that set almost like a film over your skin they tend to be shiny um almost a little bit like pvc looking on the skin but they are absolutely brilliant and i'd highly recommend both of them for longevity then going on to um marker liners now so these can be really hit or miss there's a lot i've used that i really really don't like three that i use that i'm happily happily um recommend to anyone first of all is this masterpiece one by max factor and it's the glide and define liquid eyeliner in black i have a small version here but it's got a really really lovely nib and these ones are really great for detail work uh, it just applies really beautiful and goes on really really black and you have such control over the line and of like the tapering of your wing if you want to do that and everything. One thing about these kind of markers or marker eyeliners is that you do need to store them with the nib facing downwards so that the ink is constantly going into it and that they don't dry up. You have to make sure that the lid is constantly on extremely extremely tight and um, if there's a click you may need to hear the click because they can dry out and if that nib dries out then it pretty much ruins the product. And then one thing I would say is never use it over a very glittery or bitty eyeshadow or something that's very very powdery or that's um, very thickly or heavily built up on the eye because if deposit gets onto the nib it can affect how it works and the flow of the ink. So you need to kind of use it over um, more of a smooth base if you can get away with it but this is a fantastic product. So another one very very similar to the Max Factor one is this Eyelor one. So um, I mean they all have the same attributes these three that I really really love they're just we have a lovely fluid application they don't dry out and um, have really nice nibs that don't tend to get all bitty and splay at the end um, and that's that guy there I've had this one for a long long time there's absolutely no writing left on the package but it's brilliant as well I got this one from Boots um, and that's the eye lure and then the final one I have this one is not available in Ireland my friend Heather uh, Soclum79 sent it over to me and it's by Physicians Formula. It's their eye booster. This is one that actually has serum in it to help with your lashes and it's the Ultra Black. This is the best of all of the ones I've ever tried. It has a really um, beautiful nib. It's almost like a calligraphy kind of um, pen nib and it has just the most beautiful black formula in it. It lasts brilliantly on the skin and it's just brilliant to work with and um, I've had this for a good while now and it hasn't dried up and it's um, definitely the best pen I've ever used I don't know the price because it was sent to me but I'll try and find out and if I can find links to any of these guys on my, um, I'll leave them on my blog for you then the two like kind of regular liquid eyeliners that I use would be this one by Catrice which is just your basic run of the mill liquid eyeliner it has a slightly hard nib but it's lovely and black and you get a lovely opaque uh, application of it as well um, the good point of this is that it's very very inexpensive so it's very affordable I highly recommend that one that I don't have on me that I also used for a long long time for years and years and years is the Rimmel just the plain black liquid eyeliner by Rimmel um, it came with more of like a little brush nib so I'd highly recommend that and that one is more available um, for people to get as well. Glitter eyeliners, two that I really really recommend and that I love would be this one by NYX, it's the liquid crystal liner and this is their crystal onyx so it's a black one with kind of silver sparkle. 
I love this. It's quite an opaque one as far as um, glitter eyeliners go. And it is beautiful for party looks or for like Christmas looks. And it being NYX, it's not that expensive. And the other one is this one by Barry M Cosmetics. And it's their glitter, glitter liquid eyeliner number 13. So I love this um, because it has more kind of... It's more of a, like not a black eyeliner with glitter in it, but it's rather a clear eyeliner with loads of black glitter in it, but it also has loads of um, multicolored glitters in with it. So it's a bit more of a sheer effect, but it's still lovely and you can get such nice effects with it on the eye. So I, again, I'd really highly really recommend that. And because it is Barry M, it's really, really affordable as well. Then finally, the only other kind of type of eyeliner that you can get and that I really highly recommend would be cake eyeliners. So um, this one is great for practicing eyeliner particularly because you get so much product in it and because it is water based um, or it's water activated, it's really easy to wipe away any mistakes and start again. So this is actually um, an aqua paint, but it's the same thing as using um, a cake eyeliner. And this is the Ben Nye Magic Cake Aqua Paint. So this is water activated, but I do tend to use it with one of the mixing mediums like I showed you earlier on so that it is more waterproof. But um, brilliant for doing, like I said, practice or for doing any kind of face art or any more um, theatrical or artistic looks. And then another thing you could use would be something like this. It's the Cryolin Aquacolor. Um, you can buy them singularly, but they work the exact same way. They're water activated unless you have one of those waterproof mixing mediums and they work exactly the same way. So I hope this was helpful. They're pretty much all the eyeliners that I use um, and love and I really, really rate them. And I think that, um, you know, they'd be brilliant for anyone to use. And I hope that this is going to be helpful then for anyone maybe trying to decide on which one they should get. So, um, yeah, I'll chat to you all really soon, guys. And um, slam.